Good morning. This is Jason and you're watching the main freshwater exploration going deep. And thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, this is a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, if you watch any of my videos before, you'll know that uh, typically I give a kind of a landscape look of where I'm at and then we get right into the water with the drone and have a look around. Um, recently I've been getting a lot of uh, questions and just like wanting to know what I'm using for a drone uh, that type of thing so I thought um, you know it might be a good time to do a, like a little uh, product demonstration so to speak just to show you what I use for a drone um, how it works how to set it up it might be a good uh, a good video for someone that's either just getting started uh, with a type of drone that I have or um, looking to maybe even get a drone. Uh, before we get started, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would appreciate it if you could do that for me and click the notification bell so any uh, new uh, underwater drone videos that I upload, you'll be notified and you can check it out. I would greatly appreciate it and let's get into it. Okay, so this is what I use for a drone. It is a five fish V6 Expert. Uh, it's made by a company called QC. And this is more their um, middle of the road uh, model, I would say. Um, they have a couple that are a step lower than this and they have a few that are a step above. Um, it's propelled with these different motors here. They're six in all. If you look right in the front, cameras here, you got LED lights here. Underneath, this right here is where your SD card is stored. And there's a little tool that comes with the kit. And this pops off, unscrews and pops off, and you can access your mini uh, or your micro SD card right here. The other parts that go along with this is uh, the tether. So there's two connection points on this. One for the drone itself, where it connects, and then where the connection is made to the remote control itself. So that way uh, it's in constant communication, uh, enable to send a live feedback to your uh, viewer, whether that's your cell phone or an iPad or something similar to that. Um, that's how it's able to, to maintain its connection. Um, other than that, we have the remote control here. So it has a holder um, that you can adjust or, uh, or or whatnot for whatever size uh, phone um, or, or viewer that you that you uh, are using, um, it can accommodate that. Um, I'll be using an iPad. You'll see in just a minute uh, where I won't actually use that. It, it'll fold and move out of your way, and uh, so we'll show how this all connects now and and go from there. Okay, so to connect this. Your connection points right here and you'll see little guides to be able to help you line this up so that comes on here twist it into place there's a little loop that's going to go right around this wing here i guess you'd call it and then that's just tightened up and then that way, when this is swimming out, diving, doing what it needs to do, your tension isn't against your connection here. It's going to be up top, so that way you're not, you know, potentially pulling that out or off. For the remote, connection's here. Clips in just like that. Alright, so we have everything hooked up. Remote, do the tether to the unit, and we're going to go ahead and start this up. That's done right here. So you're gonna hear that do that chime. And then if you look down here, you'll see the lights blinking. Okay, now we're gonna go into the Five Fish app. Okay, if you look, I know it's turned to the side, but it says connected here, and you're going to see connect here. Um, 
if the unit isn't synced up properly, it's gonna say disconnected right here. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they both say connect or connected. Then you're gonna click here. So now you have your live view. So the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to hit that button right there. And that's gonna record your video.